It's time for another Battle of the Cities video. Today, we are putting up Temecula, California versus Winchester, California. We are going to break down all of the categories for you, determine who is the true winner, who is the best city to live in based off of a number of factors between Temecula and Winchester. Let's put them head to head and see who comes out on top. Hey guys, I'm Andrew Lewis, your local Temecula Valley Realtor, and this channel is dedicated to all things living in the Temecula Valley, from new construction tours, to neighborhood spotlights, to new things coming here to the valley. I want you and your family to know exactly what it's like living here before you make the move. Thanks for tuning in today, let's dive in. All right, let's put Temecula versus Winchester, see who comes out on top. We are going to break down the affordability, the things to do, the schools, the safety, the traffic. I want you to compare all of these categories to see who the winner is. So let's start breaking it down, see who comes out on top. As of today, the average price point for Temecula, California is $852,000. When we compare that to the Winchester, California average price point, that is just $617,000. That's almost a $250,000 difference. So why the big discrepancy? Well, Temecula is way more established. If, if I go anywhere in the country and I wear a, a name badge at a conference and I put Temecula, California, it's pretty normal for me to hear people say, oh, I've heard of that, that's Southern California wine country. If I were to put Winchester on that same badge, no one's even going to recognize that and they'll have no clue where it is. So uh, Temecula is well-known, well-established, the wineries, all those things to do, which we'll talk about here a little bit later. And so because of that established nature of the community, it comes with a higher price point. Now, Winchester is actually an unincorporated area uh, of Riverside County and is just getting its feet underneath it to become uh, an official city and, and start to operate that way. So uh, it's newer in development. It's existed for a very very, very long time, but it just hasn't had that official recognition. And it was very rural for a long period of time. And Temecula got built up, which pushed people into Marietta. And then now Marietta is built up and it's pushing people up into Winchester. And so it is a newly developed area. And because of that, there's not a lot of the amenities that go along with it. And so a lower price point. So when it comes to comparing the affordability, Temecula is a little bit more expensive and Winchester gets the win. Let's move on to things to do or entertainment. That's obviously an important factor to weigh out when it determines where you want to live. And if we look at the price point that we just moved on from, I think you can guess potentially where this is going to go. When it comes to living in Temecula, there is a ton to do. It's a well-developed city, well-known. I mentioned the wineries. There's over 50 wineries here in Temecula. And so there's tons to do. If you wanna go out for a drink, you wanna have a nice dinner, you wanna have a wedding venue, you wanna have a good event, that is all out there in wine country for you. Temecula also has many parks. If you've got little ones or just want to be outdoors, lots to offer there, movie theaters, restaurants, specifically Old Town Temecula. There's a lot to do and a lot of nightlife down in Old Town Temecula. So if you're looking for something to do, you just jet down there. You've got uh, arcades, uh, bars, restaurants, shopping. Check out the video on our channel that we just did about Old Town Temecula. Uh, I'm sure it will give you a great idea of all the things to do in Temecula. When it comes to Winchester, there's honestly a little bit less to do. Newer developed area, a little bit less to do because people haven't been driving there as a destination or living there for quite some time. So uh, you've got some parks, there's definitely that. There's new communities being built up and you are starting to get in some of the shops but not as much as you would have in Temecula. So uh, not as much there. You do have Lake Skinner, which is a part of Winchester. Um, there's camping and fishing and hiking and things you can do there. So there's a little bit of outdoor activity for you on that side. Uh, and, and it does actually host the uh, Temecula Valley uh, Balloon and Wine Festival, which is a huge event here in the area. But guess what? Temecula actually takes the credit for it, even though it's in Winchester. So I guess I have to score that one for Temecula anyways. But overall, just not as 
much to do yet. And I do expect over time that things will continue to develop there and there will be more put in. But I think even if I'm just looking long term, 20 years down the road, even as Winchester's developed, Temecula is just going to take the cake as far as things to do uh, because it's just a better location overall as far as quick access to freeways, getting in and out, and just a diverse area of things to do. So for the win here on things to do in entertainment, I've got to give it to Temecula. Next up, let's talk about schools and the school system. So Temecula is known for its school system. There are actually 23 schools with a grade of seven or higher on the greatschools.org rating system. So uh, if you aren't familiar with that, check out greatschools.org, type in the area that you're looking to live in, whether this the Temecula Valley or somewhere else, uh, and it will break down the scores of all of the schools and give you some reviews and things like that to look at. So 23 of the schools in Temecula are a seven or greater on the greatschools.org chart. Now, if we pin that against Winchester, Again, a newer community, just being developed, fewer schools. There's just two schools in Winchester that uh, are actually on the greatschools.org chart as a seven or better. Now, actually, keep in mind, there are some parts of Winchester that actually do take advantage of the Temecula Valley School District. So uh, that's kind of a pro, like is a little sliver there, again, that, that takes advantage of the Temecula Valley Unified School District and you get some of those schools. So you could end up in that price point for Winchester, but taking advantage of the Temecula schools and being closely located to Temecula enough to actually get to take care of some of those things to do and amenities as well. So a little known secret, if you want some of the insight to that, reach out to me and we'll get you some of that info as well. But as far as the school systems, it's a clear choice. Temecula wins for schools. Now let's move on to safety. Obviously, this is an important thing to consider when it comes to moving to a new area. So uh, for Temecula, we, we use area vibes to take a look at this and uh, it rates them against other cities in the United States. For Temecula, Temecula is 46% safer than other cities in the United States. When it comes to Winchester, that number is a little bit lower, 39% safer than other US cities. So I will actually put some of that on Temecula being a little bit more established, a few more officers on patrol and a, and a great uh, proactive approach to things in the city. Uh, now, I do have to say, though, that both areas are patrolled by the Riverside Sheriff. So uh, it's not that they have two different police departments and things are totally different. Uh, they've got the same thing there, but um, maybe just a little bit less going on in the Winchester area and uh, a little bit higher activity as far as crime rates go. Again, nothing alarming there, but 39% safer than most cities in the United States. So when it comes to who wins for the safer city, we've got to give the win to Temecula. So now let's talk about traffic. If you're gonna be living in Southern California, you better get used to it. There is traffic everywhere you go. And we don't talk about how far away things are. We talk about how long it's going to take us to get there because it doesn't matter if it's 20 miles, it might take you two hours, okay? So we've gotta get used to that in Southern California. So it is a category that we consider when it comes to the battle of the cities. Now, when it comes to Temecula, Traffic can be a little bit rough, okay? We are uh, a commuter town as far as Temecula goes, and so uh, there's, there's jobs inside of Temecula, but you're gonna have a lot of people that commute from Temecula down to San Diego for work, into Riverside, Orange County, maybe even some LA, and so you've got a lot of traffic when it comes to those peak times of day, early morning traffic, late afternoon traffic, coming and going to and from work. Now. Temecula only has the 15 freeway that runs through it. And if you're not from the area, I did just say the 15 freeway. That's how we say it, get used to it. Uh, it's the 15, the 215 freeway, the five. So that's the way it is. But the 15 freeway runs through there and that's the only major freeway that you have. So if you're gonna go north out of Temecula, you gotta get on the 15 freeway. If you're gonna go south, you gotta get on the 15 freeway. Puts everybody in one location and there's just a lot of congestion at times. Even on the weekends as you're going through some of the side streets in Temecula, it can be very packed. Again, there's a lot to do in Temecula. It attracts people from out of the area, which those are all pros and makes Temecula a winner in some other areas, but it does come with some additional traffic. And there's a lot of people that live in Temecula, more cars on the road. Now, when it comes to Winchester, if I'm talking Winchester directly as the city itself, Winchester, not a lot of traffic. Fewer people live there, it's developing. I expect that to get worse over time, uh, but I do expect them to continue to work on some of that infrastructure. But 
Winchester is actually its own little segment that doesn't have a freeway that runs through it. You actually have to drive through Marietta or Temecula to get onto the freeway from Winchester. And so because of that, whatever traffic you experience as someone that lives in Temecula, unless you stay in Winchester only, which you can't for some of those entertainment things and work and all those kinds of things, you're gonna have to drive through Temecula or you're gonna have to drive through Marietta and both have their traffic problems. So uh, I'm gonna say Winchester is gonna win for the traffic here because if you stay inside of Winchester, you're not gonna experience as much congestion. But if you're gonna go anywhere, you're still gonna have to experience the Temecula traffic or the Marietta traffic going one way or the other. So I will give Winchester just a slight win here, but a win nonetheless. So let's total it up. Who wins the battle of the cities? We gave one point to Winchester for affordability, one point to Temecula for things to do, a point to Temecula for schools, a point to Temecula for safety, and then we gave one point to Winchester, slightly, maybe even just a half point to Winchester as far as traffic goes. So overall, that is a three to two score. The victory goes to Temecula. Now, again, I'm not here to say Temecula is infinitely better than Winchester, right? They all have their own pros and cons, but according to the categories that we break down here, which I feel are important to you as a consumer, I have to give the win to Temecula, and it really just depends on what you're looking for as to where you want to live. If you want bang for your buck, go to Winchester all day long, right? $250,000 cheaper on your average price point. Get out there, live there for a few years, earn some equity as the area continues to grow. And then if you desire to be in Temecula, get down to Temecula and invest your money there. So I just see may way bigger upside to Winchester currently as far as an investment goes. That's where I would put my money if I was looking to invest and earn some equity over some time. But again, you've got more things to do and some other advantages to Temecula. So the choice is yours, but Temecula is the winner for our video here today. That's it for our breakdown of the Battle of the Cities, Winchester versus Temecula. Thanks for tuning in today. I hope you enjoyed today's content. If you did, do me a favor, hit that like button. Leave a comment below about any questions you might have about living in the Temecula Valley. If there's something I missed about living in Winchester versus living in Temecula, drop it in the comments. I want people to see the honest truth. I don't wanna be a biased party here. So leave it in the comments below. And as always, uh, do not forget to subscribe. Hit that subscribe button so you don't miss out on future content. Thanks for tuning in today. We'll see you next time.